On a country road in the back of the valley in Waimanalo, the sound of a sawmill breaks the still morning air. Here at Waimanalo Wood, Miles Ludke and his business partner Elmer have a thriving business milling all kinds of wood into usable lumber that can build our homes. They even make use of harmful, invasive trees like Albizia that desperately need to be taken out of the forest. You know, we've had projects milling Albizia wood, Norfolk pine, um, a lot of the more currently popular stuff, monkey pod, mango, milo, kamani, ko. Um, we got some false kamani, we got eucalyptus robusta, the list goes on and on. On another country road, near the Hamakua coast on Hawaii Island, Timothy Shafto turns a bull. We, we have some of the, the best woods here in Hawaii, and this is one way to showcase the beautiful woods that we have in Hawaii, and it's a very sustainable forest. He's one of a growing number of wood magicians using milled wood from fallen trees to create beautiful and functional works of art. And on a busy urban street on the University of Hawaii campus in Manoa, another work of art takes up an entire street corner. Again, the focus is to remove Albizia from the forest and turn it into something good. This is an Albizia prototype. Um, it's a temporary demonstration here at the university. It was my dissertation work at the School of Architecture, uh, my research, and that was then funded after I graduated and we have built it over the last two years. Essentially, it's demonstrating the use of al invasive Albizia as a viable building material. The sawmill, the bull turning, and the tiny house are all examples of the ways Hawaii is using wood resources in innovative and sustainable ways. Joey Valenti, the man who designed and built the tiny house at UH, leads the Hawaii Wood Utilization Team. Formed in 2017, it's a group of experts from various wood-related industries, aiming to produce and initiate innovative cross-sector ideas and projects that expand wood product markets in Hawaii. This project behind me and what we're looking at next, um, I think it's sparking something that, that was there but just hasn't really been, um, hasn't really been explored at the right time and I think we're, we're at that time now. Hawaii has never had much of a timber industry, mostly because it costs so much to ship wood to the continent or overseas. But with a plethora of exotic and beautiful native woods, along with invasive trees like Albizia that need removing, there's a movement to develop local markets and uses for Hawaii's forest products that can sustain our lives in these islands. We work with a eco-friendly casket company named Pahiki Caskets and they use a lot of our Norfolk and they're using the Albizia too and some monkey pod. Um, really people come here and and get wood for any reason that wood is traditionally used for shelving, countertops, a box, anything. Hopefully one day, harmful trees like Albizia will no longer be available from our forests, and our local woodworkers will only have native and non-invasive species to work with. On Hawaii Island, Tim has expanded his talents and his repertoire from beautiful koa kamani and milo bowls to art pieces that use other materials but focus on wood. This one here is just an abstract which all, all these pieces, what I'm trying to do is uh, showcase the wood. Uh, one, and one thing that I don't do is I don't work with uh, trees that have been taken down live. It's all dead, fallen, and dying trees. Uh, so again, this, all these here started with the platter, with the, the resin. And so here we have the koa, and I have the colored resin. And I build my own panels. Uh, so it's all start to finish. Um, this one over here, this is uh, my landscapes. So we have the koa here and the sand here, which I can say I don't take from the beach. Um, so you got the wood, you got the sand, and you got the resin right here. Wow, that's really beautiful. 
My art is not created from wood, but it's inspired by our native forests. And I hope that you've been inspired to join all the people we've met in caring for and protecting our forests for life. In so many ways, forests truly are the life force of our islands, vital for us today and into the future, forever. I'm Kupa Ahi. Mahalo for accompanying me on this journey and ahui ho. <laughs>